Hello, Ursi here. Uh, and, yep, guess what? Minecraft. But, not just Minecraft, but modded Minecraft. And, uh, yeah, this is from Ray's mini map, and you can see the mini map in the upper right corner. Uh, this is a brand new world, but not just any world. This is a Feed the Beast world. Uh, I am running this uh, because I want to play with it and I want to mess around with it. I figure, oh, what the heck, I'll record it. I have played a little bit of this offline uh, without recording it. And, oh, yeah, this is Feed the Beast, by the way. Go away, zombie. Burn! He's actually really dangerous. I hope he burns. Ow! Yeah. Go away! Oh, okay. As I was saying before, I was so rudely interrupted. Uh, this is uh, Feed the Beast, and this is the <laughs> Mind Crack uh, pack. So this is the pack the Mind Crack guys are using. No, this obviously isn't their server. It is, however, a server, and the reason I'm playing this uh, with a server is uh, because I want stuff to be able to run uh, when I'm not online or when I'm not uh, actually playing, so I can automate stuff and walk away from it and come back to it later. Uh, the server is actually a computer which is uh, on my same local area network, so the amount of lag is pretty much identical to that uh, which you find when you're playing single player. However, I can actually just walk away and have things offline, as far as my computer, and cow in a tree. Uh, the wild forest cow and his uh, tendency to get caught in trees. <laughs> uh, never mind. Anyway, uh, so there's that, and I have located my spawn zone. This is where I spawned initially. Uh, I actually came in here and found out there was night really soon, and I hid in a corner. Might as well collect back my dirt. <laughs> uh, and it's time to go wandering around and find out where things are. There are a few resources that I need to get started. Uh, not the least of which is some food and, of course, trees. <laughs> and dirt. Gotta have dirt. So I'm gonna go work on that. Uh, work on getting some basic resources together. Everybody's seen Minecrafters punch trees before, so I'm not gonna bore you all with that. Uh, so I'm gonna cut the recording here, and after I gather some basic supplies, uh, we will come back to this and start looking around and trying to figure out where in the heck I want to set up shop in my uh, my world here, which I've generated. Uh, not the least of which is, of course, I'm definitely looking forward to playing with some of the mods, and some of the other ones I'm actually dreading. <laughs> Particularly, I'm dreading Bombcraft, because I'm really not familiar with it. I am, however... Well, I guess I'll punch trees and talk at the same time. Uh, I am familiar with some of the mods in this mod pack. Uh, I am familiar with Industrial Craft. Uh, but I know that Industrial Craft has been made much, much, much harder thanks to Greg Tech. Uh, which definitely changes the dynamic up quite a bit. But anyway, yeah. I'm going to get on with uh, punching trees here and get myself some uh, basic, basic resources together. Uh, and then we'll get ready to head out here. See you in a sec. So, a second for you, about, oh, ten minutes for me. I got a few basic things put together. Some stone tools, a little bit of materials, a couple of torches. You know, very basics. But I figured I'd catch the uh, first, more advanced thing that I'm going to make here. See, I made myself a furnace, and I needed that for some clean stone. Uh, and I need some clean stone, a chest, a crafting table, and let me guess. 
I need a little bit more wood. <laughs> that sounds about right. So, what the heck am I making here? This is a project table, which comes from Red Power. So, Red Power is one of the mods. I really, really like the project table. It's a, it's a really awesome thing. Uh, it makes it makes a lot of things so much easier to make. So, I'm just going to convert both of my... Uh, <laughs> yeah, here we go. I'm just going to convert uh, both of my... I need some more cobble. Fortunately, I'm hiding in a little in a little uh, corner here. I'm just going to convert both of my uh, crafting tables here to project tables, and uh, I'm just going to carry those around. <laughs> hmm. A little more wood. Uh, da -da -da -da. One of the great things about the project table is, of course, uh, you can leave it and stuff stays in the project table, and then come back to it and finish your recipe. It also has an internal storage, which will let you make multiples of things, uh, which is also really, really great. And I got a little bit of food, so I'm going to cook that up, and then I'm going to go back to uh, waiting for the sun to come up, because I'm not wandering around out there at night, and I don't want to pick this as my starting base. This is just uh, a hole that I'm hiding in. Uh, but yeah. Oh, my chicken was kind enough to drop me an egg. And I got a little bit of coal from the entrance area of a uh, of a cave, but I didn't dare go too far into it. Uh, but this generally is how I like to set up my tools and weapons. Uh, you've probably seen this set up before in my uh, in my videos. It's actually modeled off after the way X likes to keep his things uh, when he was doing X's adventures in Minecraft, but of course he doesn't do that anymore. Uh, but yeah, project table acquired. And this is NEI, I think it is. It's either NEI or TMI. I think this is NEI. Uh, but yeah. I just have that up so that I can remember what the heck I'm making. <laughs> and it's still night time, so continuing to wait. Yay. <laughs> so time to skip some boring stuff. Uh, and then we'll get this, uh, this party rolling and uh, take a look at uh, what we got out there. See you in a sec again. All right, and away we go. So, you got just a touch of food. I need a little bit more, of course. Oh, there's an egg up there. Do want right now. I want a chicken farm later. Uh, you'd have to put it somewhere where I have a pain in the butt time to get it, wouldn't you, chicken? Come back. Come back. I only want to kill you. <laughs> All right. So, hmm. No, I guess you get to keep your egg this time, chicken. It's not worth it to me to chase you down. So let's see now. Looking at the uh, biomes that are right next to spawn here. Now uh, we've got ooh, some mushrooms. Interesting. We've got a red rock area, which is over here. We've got a little bit of forest, regular old forest it looks, and uh, we have some snowy forest over here. Hmm, some pigs. Uh, but I know that I've got some some cows and some pigs and stuff in the area. Um, I just need to go and collect them up. And worry that spiders are going to eat me. And also, of course, we have this red rock area, which means if we have this red rock stuff, which, you know, that might be an interesting material to build out of. 
but there are some other things that I need to look for too, like uh, I need to look for some rubber trees for the industrial craft stuff, uh, and I need a place to, uh, woo, a little bit of this visual lag there, okay, and I need a place to go looking for, uh, I need a place, I need to look for a place to set up my permanent base. I don't want to be right next to spawn. You know. Nothing really wrong with this spot. I mean, we've got multiple biomes and stuff. Plenty of basic resources, but... I uh, don't want to build right here, although... The red rock area is tempting. <laughs> so, I'm going to go uh, do some wandering. Oh, wow. Graphical lag. And you'd think if I'm running an actual server that you wouldn't have that. Um, but I guess uh, not everything is peachy keen. Ooh, ooh, dancing on the edge. <laughs> An interesting little depression. So what's over this way? We have... Oh, well, let's look at the map, anyway. Red rock for days. There's the forest. Uh, another forest over here. Ooh, really tall tree. Is that a fir tree? Ah, oh, well, seeing through the world is not exactly what you want to do right now. Although it's kind of neat. Um... One moment while I re-log here and uh, fix this. This is not supposed to be this way. <laughs> Scary noise aside. Yeah. Alright, well that fixed that. That's pretty cool. Uh, an island made out of red rock. Uh, more foresty areas. A really giant foresty area over there. Look at the map. Yeah, you can start seeing the outlines, the edges of it. But the the view distance is a little bit larger than what uh, Ray's mini map will tell me, so I can look a little bit beyond there if I'm particularly careful. Oop. Okay, so what we got over here? Other than a little bit of graphical lag. <laughs> uh this plateau up here is actually really nice. I think I could make this really defensible with a minimal amount of work. Actually, I could. <laughs> hmm. Only problem is getting to and from this little defensible platform. And of course, it's getting about time to eat something. Let's eat some steak and an apple. Everybody everybody needs a little bit of balance in their diet after all, right? Hmm. Now yeah, I'll keep looking. I actually want to see what's over here. The terrain's a bit rough though. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, this, these are either fir trees or redwood trees or pretty sure that's fir. Ooh. I do wish the graphical lag would stop. Hey, coal in a wall. I got a little bit right now, so I'm not worried about it. We got green grass. What type of sapling is this? Fur! Okay, I was right, that is fur. Okay. Funny thing about these uh, fur trees is that they're so big that they have a tendency to drop a whole bunch of saplings right when the server starts up. Any server, really, or when you first wander into an area like this. Uh, but it is a little bit hard to navigate in here. Geronimo! Ooh, clay. That's useful. Ooh, 
What do we got else in the area? I'll get that clay later. More saplings, which are basically free fuel. Maybe even the start of a free tree farm. <laughs> wow. A lot of free stuff on the ground here. I kind of want a volcano. I know they generate. Ooh. This is what I was looking for. Swamp. Because if when you have a swamp, that means you also have uh, something which is particular to industrial craft, which is rubber trees. I do wish the zombie would burn, though. Ooh. Some red mushrooms to go along with the browns. Not bad, not bad. Ah, rubber trees. Yes. What else has we got around here in this swamp? Some bees. I have yet to actually see any uh, sheep. Ah, speaking of the devil. And it's night time. That's going to make life more difficult. We're good, what? 400 meters from spawn? It's a nice initial starting area. Got a couple of rubber trees. Alright, so. A man needs a house. I'm not going to build it now. Instead, I'm going to go cower in a hole. Like a coward. And uh, wait for all the bad things to die in a fire. A uh, fire brought on by a ball of. Uh, a ball of fusion fire which floats in the sky. Also known as the sun. <laughs> so, catch you guys in a minute. Or a second for you, really. <laughs> 